In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome. What a great moment this is for us as a diocesan church to welcome two young men into the presbyterate. Their journey has been long and it has been, as we see, fruitful. A special welcome to uh, each of their, their families, uh, the Tinkle family and uh, Father Gabriel Cesneros Campos, uh, su familia in Mexico. And so this is a, a wonderful time for us, isn't it, as a church, to witness the ordination of, of two men uh, for, the, for the diocesan church. And so uh, we're grateful. Our hearts are filled with tremendous happiness in what is about to take place in our cathedral church. I want a special welcome to our brother priest, uh, your visible sign to us of God's grace and the goodness of your priesthood, in some cases, many, many years. We have some who are newly ordained and special welcome to you too. Let's prepare ourselves then to celebrate Holy Mass as we always do. We purify ourselves before the Lord. We're conscious of our sins. We ask his mercy and forgiveness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Borrow your program. Gloria in excelsis Deo, ed in terra pax omnibus one voluntatis. Gloria in excelsis Deo, ed in terra pax omnibus one voluntatis. Gloria in excelsis Deo, 
Captain Terra Fox, Hominibus, Polemon Tartis, Is Hanto, Salotus, Salotatissimo, Is a Listo, Is a Spirito, Is a Spirito. Oremos. Dios nuestro, que suscitate a San Juan Baptista para prepararle a Cristo, el Señor un pueblo dispuesto a recibirlo, concede ahora a tu iglesia eh, el don de la alegría espiritual. Iguía a tus fieles por el camino de la salvación y de, de la paz. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your family may walk in the way of salvation and attentive to what St. John the Precursor urged, may come safely to the one he foretold, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow in his qu quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, 
sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth in hope splendor before the day star like the dew I have begotten you you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek the Lord has sworn and he repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Lectura del Libro de los Hechos de los Apóstoles En aquellos días Pablo les dijo a los judíos Hermanos, Dios les dio a nuestros padres como rey a David De quien hizo esta alabanza He hallado a David, hijo de Jesé, hombre según mi corazón Quien realizará todos mis designios Del linaje de David, conforme a la promesa Dios hizo nacer para Israel un Salvador, Jesús Juan preparó su venida predicando a todo el pueblo de Israel un bautismo de penitencia. Y así al final de su vida, Juan decía, yo no soy el que ustedes piensan, después de mí viene uno a quien no merezco desatarle las sandalias. Hermanos míos, descendientes de Abraham y cuantos temen a Dios, este mensaje de salvación les ha sido enviado a ustedes. Palabra de Dios. Señor. Good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me.
El Señor esté con ustedes. Y con tu espíritu. Lectura de Santa y Evangelio según San Lucas. Gloria a ti, Señor. Por aquellos días se llegó a Isabel la hora de dar la luz y tuvo un hijo. Cuando sus vecinos y parientes se enteraron de que el Señor le había manifestado tan gran misericordia, se regocijaron con ella. A los ocho días fueron a circuncidar al niño y le querían poner Zacarías como su padre. Pero la madre se opuso diciéndoles, no, su nombre será Juan. Ellos le decían, pero si ninguno de tus parientes se llama así. Entonces le preguntaron por señas al padre cómo quería que se llamara el niño. Él pidió una tabilla y escribió, Juan es su nombre. Todos se quedaron extrañados. En ese momento, a Zacarías se le soltó la lengua, recobró el hablar y empezó, empezó a bendecir a Dios. Un sentimiento de temor se apoderó de los vecinos. En, en toda la región montañosa de Judía se comentaba este suceso. Cuantos se enteraban de ello, se preguntaban impresionados, ¿qué va a ser de este niño? Esto lo decían porque realmente la mano de Dios estaba con él. El niño se iba desarrollando físicamente y su espíritu se iba fortaleciendo y vivió en el desierto hasta el día en que se dio a conocer al pueblo de Israel. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord has shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, no, he will be called John. But they answered her, there is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was open, his tongue free, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert unto the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Don't go away, just stay right there, okay?
those to be ordained priests come forward. Names. Gabriel Pinsnero Campos. Kelby Reed Tingle. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. Que gozo estar aquí en la Iglesia Madre de la Diócesis con dos de sus hijos que serán elevados a la dignidad del sacerdocio. Hijos, mijos, Gabriel y Kelby. Llegó el día uh, que tanto han esperado en que por medio de la imposición de manos, el Señor los cambie y funda en ustedes los mismos dones que dio a sus discípulos en la última cena y nos sigue dando. Acabamos de celebrar el triduo pascual donde conmemoramos la última cena del Señor que consagró a sus primeros sacerdotes con las palabras que usaremos hoy aquí en este altar. Este es mi cuerpo. Este es el caliz de mi sangre. Esa noche pascual sigue fresca en nuestras mientras cuando el Señor resucitado se apareció a sus discípulos y les encomendó el don de emplear la misericordia diciendo, a quienes les perdonen los pecados, les serán perdonados. Durante la temporada pascual, escuchamos en San Mateo bien de ocho, que el Señor dijo a sus primos discípulos y les dice a ustedes hoy, vayan, enseñen, bautice en el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. En escrito también tenemos en la carta de Apóstol Santiago palabras sanadoras, invitando a los enfermos a buscar a los presbíteros para que empolgan las manos, manos y los unjan en el nombre del Señor. Y en el can calendario de la iglesia celebramos su cumpleaños porque nace con la venida del Espíritu Santo, quien viene hoy a ustedes en la imposición de manos y también y el don de la confirmación que ustedes compartirán generosamente con su rebaño. 
Somos más que iglesia sacramental, pero además con estos dones sacramentales que ya han recibido, los lesiona para el servicio de sacerdocio y para lo que Dios pondrá bajo su cuidado. En verdad, el gran día hoy en que les llamaremos Padre Gabriel, Padre Kelby, día en que ustedes toman cargo de lo que Dios les ha asignado y para lo que Dios los ha llamado. Hoy comienzan un camino que es incierto y desconocido, excepto que van hacia adelante con las promesas que el Señor los acompaña como sus sacerdotes. Cuando en era niño y servidor del altar en una iglesia muy grande en Filadelfia, ayudé en muchas misas y bodas. En el momento de la exhortación, la pareja que está a punto de entrar en el matrimonio escucha estas palabras, estas palabras. Es un hermoso tributo a su inquebrantable fe, que reconociendo la importancia de las palabras que están a punto de pronunciar ustedes, sin embargo, están dispuestos y preparados a pronunciar las Siendo así para el matrimonio, con mayor razón, lo es para el sacerdocio. Los he visto a los de crecer en los sacerdotes que se convierten hoy y que sin saber lo que les espera, desafíos y incertidumbres están listos aquí para dar su sí al Señor y a su iglesia por medio de su obispo. Enfóquense en este llamado único del Señor, pues en verdad lo es. Y sepan que hoy ustedes se unen en una fraternidad única de sacerdotes. Algunos de los mejores sacerdotes están aquí en nuestra diócesis. Y ellos so, son ejemplos de lo que significa actuar en persona Christi. What a joy it is to be here in the Mother Church of the Diocese as two of her sons are raised to the dignity of the priesthood. My sons, Gabriel and Kelby, the day for which you have longed is here, when through the laying on of hands, the Lord changes you and imbues in you the same gifts he gave to his disciples at the Last Supper and beyond. We're not so distant from the recent triduum during which we commemorated the Last Supper of the Lord, during which he consecrated his first priest with the words we will use here at this altar today. This is my body. This is my blood. Fresh in our minds is that Easter, that Easter evening when the risen Lord appeared to his disciples and entrusted to them the gift of applied mercy, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. During the Easter season, we heard from the Lord in Matthew 28 to his first priest, and today to you, implicitly, go teach. Baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And recorded in the epistle of James, those healing words, inviting those who are sick to seek out the presbyters, to lay hands on them, to anoint them in the name of the Lord. 
And just within the past month of the church's calendar, we celebrated her birthday and the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the church. So today, upon you in the laying on of hands, the giving of the Holy Spirit and confirmation that you will generously share with your flock. We are more than a sacramental church. That's very important. We are a sacramental church, but more than that, these sacramental gifts, in addition to what you have already received, set you apart for priestly service to those entrusted to your care. What a great day today is when we address you as Father Gabriel and Father Kelby. As you, assume, as you assume that to which the Lord has called you and designed for you. Today you set out on a road that is uncertain and unknown, except that you go forward with the promises of the Lord to accompany you as his priest. When I was a child and an altar server in a very large parish church in Philadelphia, I served many masses. I also served at many weddings. At that time, prior to the exchange of vows for the wedding couple, there was this exhortation that was read uh, to the couple about to enter into holy matrimony, and they included these words. It is a beautiful tribute to your undoubted faith that recognizing the full import of the words you are about to pronounce, you are nevertheless so willing and prepared to pronounce them. If so about marriage, ever more so about the priesthood, I've watched both of you grow into the priest you become today and not knowing, not knowing what is before you with all the challenges and the uncertainties, you stand here ready to add your yes to the Lord, to his church through his bishop. Be focused on this unique calling from the Lord as indeed it is a unique calling. And know that today you join a most unique fraternity of priests, some of the best right here in our diocese, and examples of what it means to act in the person of Christ. Listos? Okay. Thank you. Dear sons, before you proceed to the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people you resolve to undertake this office. I ask you, do you resolve to discharge unfailingly with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the office of the priesthood and the presbyteral rank as trustworthy co-workers with the order of bishops and feeding the Lord's flock? I do. Do you resolve to carry out the ministry of the word worthily and wisely in the preaching of the gospel and the teaching of the Catholic faith? I do. Do you resolve to celebrate the mysteries of Christ reverently and faithfully according to the tradition of the church, especially in the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the praise of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with us the mercy of God for the people entrusted to you with zeal for the commandment to pray without ceasing? I do. Finally, do you resolve to be united more closely each day to Christ the high priest who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all? I do. With the help of God. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who began the good work in you bring it to fulfillment.
Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who began the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Let us pray, dearly beloved, to God, the Almighty Father, that he pour forth heavenly gifts in abundance on these his servants whom he has chosen for the order of the priesthood. Please kneel. St. Paul, pray for us. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. John, pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. St. Stephen, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Antioch, Pray for us, Saint Lawrence. Pray for us, Saint Perpetua. Pray for us, Saint Felicity. Pray for us, Saint Agnes. Pray for us, Saint Philomena. Pray for us, Saint Gregory. Pray for us, Saint Augustine. Pray for us, Saint Athanasius. Pray for us, Saint Basil. Pray for us, Saint Martin. Pray for us, Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Stanislaus Kostka, pray for us. Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, pray for us. Saint John Berkmans, pray for us. Saint Vianney, pray for us. Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, be near us, we pray. From all evil, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful. 
merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained and faithful service to your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Comfort with your mercy the troubled and the afflicted. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Strengthen all of us and keep us in your holy service. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Hear us, we pray, O Lord our God, and pour out upon these, your servants, the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that you may surround with your rich and unfailing gifts those whom we present to your fatherly care for consecration. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Spirit from heaven shine forth with your glorious light and his soft spirit Spirit, come light of our hearts. 
From the four winds, O oh Spirit, come, breath of God. Disperse the shadows over us. Renew and strengthen your people. Veni Sancte Spiritus. Veni Sancte Spiritus. Veni Sancte Spiritus, Father of the poor, come to our poverty, shower upon us the seven gifts of your grace, be the light of our lives, Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Come Holy Spirit, from heaven shine forth with your glorious light and in Sancte Spiritus Veni Sancte Spiritus Veni Sancte Spiritus Veni Sancte Spiritus Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus.
May the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. May the Lord Jesus Christ and the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power guard and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you will do. Imitate what you will celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Put those on the altar. And...
altar any time, okay? And I'll prepare the altar any time, okay? for us the bread of life, blessed to be God for Blessed are you, Lord God, Holy Christian, the sweet wine, fruit of the vine, overcome our spiritual drink. 
Humble spirit and contrite heart next to us, so so steady, pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all this holy church. Presentamos, Señor, en tu altar estas donas, a celebrar con el debido honor y nacimiento de aquel que no solo anuncio el Salvador que habría de venir, sino que además lo mostró ya presente, y que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise you, your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of woman. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis Harpope, me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, you servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and offer it to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, you blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Lyman, Plautus, Clement, Sextus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosman and Damien, and all you saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts 
of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne <clears throat> by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on high. In the sight of your divine majesty, <clears throat> that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Who has also your servant through their sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merit, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Preceptus auditoribus moniti, et divini institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, ad veni ad regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in cielo et in terra. Adem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et emite nobis debita nostra. Sicut et nos temitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Said libera nos amalo. That of us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not. If I sit down for communion, the red they can take care of the rest, huh? Yeah. Kirsten, Kirsten, do you want to get closer? Do you want to get closer to in front of the pew? Sure. Brandy, uh, I have two bags back there, one for each of them. Uh, bring them out and just put them here, uh, or you can hold on to them after the... Uh, okay, and after, so after the, uh, uh, the uh, after the blessings, I think. Ask everyone to sit down, and then I'll do the announcements. Did you put a little? Do it after the blessings. I think so. That way, everything's done except my blessing, the pont of the blessing. Okay. How's that sound? Yes. Okay. Your hand the blessing. Yeah.
desert. But this is the bread come down from heaven. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Typically, we would do it. That's finished. Now, we have our first blessing as far as Notre Dame. Is that okay?
Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ, whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for just a moment. We still have the first blessings of our new priest to come. Um, and uh, I want to take this opportunity. Uh, remember the bishop that spent most of the time trying to shepherd me in Little Rock always told us, I've got the easiest job. All I got to do is show up and put my clothes on and everything else is taken care of. The music, Aaron, choir, thank you so much for the wonderful music you provided us with. So much ministry is going on in the diocese that uh, often goes unnoticed. I noticed that sitting uh, unvested uh, are our deacons and some of their wives. And so I just want to thank our deacons for all the support you give to these priests. And if for chance any one of you is assigned to a parish where they're going to be assigned, they're going to need a lot of support. Thank you for all that you do. Thank your wives for the support that they give. One of the uh, wonderful joys of working on a faculty of a seminary is at the end of the year when everything's done, that uh, if you are a minor, major seminary, that uh, you get to go around and, and be present for the ordination of some of your uh, former students. And so Father Josh Rodriguez here, would you please stand, Father? He's rector of, of uh, Notre Dame a seminary and, and just doing a, a great job down there. Let's recognize his presence. There. There's some things here I, I can't read, but I will uh, just say we're grateful for all the priests who, who came, especially those who came from out of town. Uh, your presence here means a great deal to us. I know it means a great deal of support uh, for now your your brother priest, thank you so much for coming to Shreveport. Oh, yeah, got it. It's a small part in terms of time in the ordination ceremony uh, where this happens. But uh, after the, the gospel, and the deacon calls forth those to be ordained. Then uh, the vocations director is the one who speaks to me and asks me on behalf of the church to ordain uh, these men uh, to the presbyterate, or if it's the diaconate and so forth. And so we've been blessed to have Father Peter Mangum, not only as the rector of this cathedral, but as our vocation director. This week he, he draws that uh, assignment to a conclusion as he leaves here and goes over to uh, JGS over in, in Monroe. And uh, it's not just vocations work that he has done, but he's worked in just about every aspect of, of diocesan life and parish life. And the whole diocese should be indebted uh, to uh, Father Peter for all the work that he has done. Father Peter, thank you for all that you have done for us. And now the time of suspense draws to a conclusion as uh, I announce to you the assignments of our new, newly ordained priest. See how quiet it got in the cathedral just like that? <laughs> I'm happy to announce that Father Gabriel Cisneros Campos is uh, being named the associate pastor of St. Joseph Church here in Shreveport. Getting to, know, getting to know Father Gabriel, I know that he's, he's going to be so effective. He has great love for God's people and the people now entrusted to his care. 
at uh, St. Joseph. So thank you so much, Father. Okay. You can sit down. <laughs> now you can stand. Your family's really curious as to your assignment. And some of the priests already know, but I'm happy to announce that uh, with your ordination, you are assigned as the associate pastor. of St. Jude's in Benton.
Ja, ich bin <lacht> Wow, that's great. <laughs> we conclude with a very sacred time of the, the service, the end of the service, where our newly ordained will bless their, their parents, me, and the congregation before the final blessing. Would you go down and bless your family? Would you bless your family, please? bow your heads for the blessing. May God, who founded the church and guides her still, protect you constantly with his grace that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. 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 May he make you servants and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth and faithful ministers of reconciliation. Amen. 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 May he make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stand on either side of me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.
quick sweat.